If you find yourself strolling down 17th Avenue and you pop into the Waves coffee shop, the one on 9A Street, you'll notice something unusual there. It's a brand new ATM for Bitcoins. Dave Bradley is the man behind the ATM and the co-founder of Bitcoin Brains, a local Bitcoin company, and he joins us in studio. Good morning. Morning. Uh, Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in. How does a Bitcoin ATM work? Uh, Basically, it's just the easiest and fastest way for anyone to change Bitcoins into Canadian dollars or vice versa. All right. Uh, so what do I actually do? How do I, how do I make it work? It, it's very similar to a regular ATM in most ways. You would uh, you know, insert cash and then it, it'll send the Bitcoins to your Bitcoin address. Uh, most people will have that stored in an app on their phone, but it's also possible to store it on a piece of paper or any other device. All right. So if I came in with an envelope of cash, I could feed it into the machine and I would get back... Uh, some kind of a record that shows I have this many Bitcoins somewhere. Yeah, that's correct. The other way that you could go is if you had Bitcoins already, you can come in and cash them in and receive the cash back. Oh, okay. Um, How long has this been in place? Uh, We've had it testing for a little under a month there, and we've worked out some bugs, and it's uh, officially ready to launch tomorrow, but it's up and running right now. All right. So, And how, how busy do you expect this machine to be? Um, it's really hard to say because we're kind of in uncharted territory. Uh, the first Bitcoin ATM in, that launched in Waves Coffee in Vancouver did uh, a little over a million dollars in volume in a month. So that was really big. Uh, we don't expect to do anything close to that because it's it's not the first one in the world. Mm-hmm. It's not a novelty factor. Um, it's novel for Calgary though. Yeah, exactly. I mean, w- we've been around for a little under a year now. Uh, Bitcoin brains, we do a lot of what the ATM does anyway. Uh, this just kind of automates the process and makes it available 24 hours a day. This is what I'm curious about. I thought it was all automated and virtual. Why do you need this sort of physical manif- manifestation of the Bitcoin world? Well, at some point you need to change your Bitcoins into Canadian dollars or vice versa. Is that going to be the main function of it? Do you expect to be paying out more or will people be depositing more? Which do you expect it to be? Uh, I think initially... Uh, we're going to see a lot more people buying Bitcoins because you need to have Bitcoins before you can sell them, obviously. And it's still a very new technology to most people. Um, over the course of the last six months, we've probably seen about 20% of our total volume has been people selling us Bitcoins. All right. It's been a tough go in the Bitcoin world over the last year. I think that's fair to say. You had the implosion of the world's biggest Bitcoin exchange, Mt. Gox. We have the collapse of that much smaller Edmonton-based Bitcoin bank. Um, does this worry you as a, I guess, as a promoter of the Bitcoin world? Well, it, it's kind of a, a brand new ecosystem. So you've got these companies who got into Bitcoin and started, you know, exchanges or like a bank in the case of the Edmonton company when uh, they weren't really ready for this. And it, it's a totally unregulated industry at this point. So there's no guidelines set out for somebody to follow if they're starting a business like this. So there's a little bit of trial by fire for some of these businesses. And when we're seeing some of these businesses collapse, I think that's just indicative of the fact that, uh, you know, they weren't ready to deal with the kind of dollar value volume that they were ultimately receiving. So with all due respect, Mr. Bradley, uh, what makes you think you're ready? Well, we don't actually hold any Bitcoins for our customers. We're more of a broker. We do all kinds of things relating to Bitcoin, but we don't uh, we don't store the Bitcoins for the customers. That's actually one of the, the big strengths of Bitcoin is that you can store your own Bitcoins. You can safely take control of your own money, and with a little bit of information, you can do a better job, essentially, than empty Gox did of controlling your own Bitcoins. You've created a machine that will be set up in a coffee shop where you expect people like me or others who are interested in the Bitcoin world to walk in and deposit their hard-earned cash to take away something that, frankly, is awfully volatile uh, as, as, as a monetary unit. Um, who do you think is going to be the first to walk in and do this? Well, there's a lot of people who are actually after it for its volatility. Uh, you know, since the last couple of years, the price change that we've seen has been dramatically upwards, you know. Um, It moves around a lot, and so it's not a great uh, store of value, and as an investment, it is a fairly high-risk investment at this point, but I think a lot of people are still buying it with the hope that it will be worth more one day. 
I'm just looking at the numbers of the last two big headlines on this. Mount Gox, it was uh, over $500 million U.S. that disappeared because of hackers, if I've got that right. Yeah. The case in Edmonton, I think police are still investigating, that was FlexCoin, $670,000 disappeared because of hackers. How is yours safe? Um, well, like I say, we don't hold any of our customers' bitcoins. So even if we were to be hacked, I would be, I would be losing my own bitcoins. So it wouldn't uh, really impact my customers. So who's holding them? Uh, when, when I sell someone bitcoins, they get the bitcoins. They get control of them either in their own app or through a number of different uh, number of different ways that we can show people to control their bitcoins. Hmm. So this will be up and running as of tomorrow in Waves Coffee Shop in 17th Avenue, correct? Yep. All right. And you're expecting how many people to come in tomorrow? Uh, we're probably going to see around 100, I would think, to our launch. But uh, it's one of those things where it's kind of hard to tell until it happens. <laughs> Best of luck on your launch. It'll be interesting to see how busy this thing is. Thanks a lot. That's Dave Bradley. He's the co-founder of Bitcoin Brains, based here in Calgary.